Hello, James Graney here from internetbizuni.com and in today's video I'm going to be explaining how you as a US seller can sell on Amazon.co.uk and all the EU platforms. If you're watching this video then you're probably already selling on Amazon.com in the US. You're wondering how you can branch out, grow your brand further. Well, You have a few different options. You can stay in the US and try and get on other platforms or you can use a platform that you're already familiar with. And that is Amazon. Amazon is pretty much the exact same no matter where you sell on it whether that's in the UK, the US, the EU or any of the other Amazon platforms. I sell on a lot of these different Amazon platforms I can tell you that they're pretty much the exact same so if you know how to use one you'll know how to use them all so that is why it makes sense for you to expand through the Amazon network rather than finding new channels to sell on. As well as this when you expand to Amazon.co.uk it is another English speaking platform so it's very easy to adjust and change your listings over to Amazon.co.uk from Amazon.com and also you will get access to the Amazon EU platforms. Although these platforms speak a different language, you can easily translate the listings to these languages. And this is well worth doing because Amazon predicts that by 2018, there will be 340 million customers using Amazon Europe. Okay, now that you're aware of the benefits of setting up on Amazon.co.uk, I'm going to go through the exact points, the stages that you need to go through in order to set up on Amazon.co.uk and be able to sell your products in the UK and Europe. But before I start, I just want to let you know that I'm not an accountant. I've helped many people from the US set up on Amazon.co.uk and in Europe, but I'm not a qualified accountant or tax expert. So any guidelines that I give you, you should double check with your tax attorney. Okay, there are six stages that you have to go through in order to set up your Amazon.co.uk Seller Central account. Number one, you have to choose whether you're going to set up and trade as your current LLC or international company, or if you're going to set up as a new UK based limited company. There are various benefits with both and you can check out all of these in the blog post below. But the main one is if you register as a limited company in the UK you do not have to register for VAT immediately to set up your Amazon Seller Central account. Whereas if you register as an international company then you are required to register for VAT in order to set up your Amazon Seller Central account. Number two is linked to number one you have to register for VAT. Again, this will depend on how you're set up. You may not have to register immediately unless you set up as an international company. In this case, you will have to register for VAT immediately in order to set up your Amazon Seller Central account. Then you are required to register for an EORI number. This allows you to import products into the UK and EU and pay customs on these products. This is something that you will be required to have in order to import products into the EU or UK. Number three, once you have number one and number two complete, you are ready to set up your Amazon Seller Central account in the UK. You will need a few things in order to set up your Amazon Seller Central account. These are a valid credit card, VAT registered if you're an international company, a phone number, a bank account, and a registered address. These are all pretty straightforward and you will have done this if you already sell on any other Amazon platform. So it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference being is you will have to have a VAT registration number if you are setting up as an international company. Number four is select a prep center if you require one. So unless you're sending your products direct from the US or direct from China to Amazon's FBA warehouses, then you will need an FBA prep center. This is a place where you could send your products and they will prepare them for the Amazon FBA centers. They can put on labels, they can rebox them or do anything that you request. Again, this is something that you will need to set up in advance if you need to use one. Number five is to prepare your inventory. So again, this will depend if you're sending it from the US, you will be preparing it yourself. If your manufacturer is sending it from China or some other country, they will need to prepare it for you. But again, this is pretty much the same as in the US. You just need to have your labels on the outside of each carton and either an FN SKU or a UPC code on each of your products. Pretty much the same 
as on any Amazon platform. So if you were used to one, you will know exactly how to do this. But it's just getting your manufacturer to do most of the work so that it doesn't have to be done in the country that you're sending it to, as it's going to be a lot more expensive if you do it this way. And number six is to set up a plan for your returns. So this is something that sellers often overlook. I've worked with a lot of sellers and helped them to get selling on Amazon.co.uk. And this is the one stage that they overlook. And as you know with Amazon, you are always going to get returns, no matter what you sell. So again, you can set it up so that Amazon resells your returns if they are in very good condition. But as you know, if you already sell on Amazon, what they deem to be very good condition is practically perfect. So for all the rest of your products that get returned that aren't in perfect condition, then you need to set up a system so that you can either get these and relist them on eBay, which is what I do in the US when I'm selling from the UK, or just simply take a loss on them and dispose them if they have been returned and not in perfect condition. But again, if you were getting Amazon to look after your returns, then keep an eye on reimbursements. Make sure to always check for reimbursements for products that have been returned, that have been damaged by the customer. You are owed reimbursement for this. And again, you can check all that out in the blog post below this video. So I will link it all up. I hope that you have found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, then please join us in the Internet Biz Uni Brand Builders Help Group on Facebook. And you can ask any questions that you have there. And me and the other members of the group will be happy to answer them. I'm looking forward to speaking to you again soon.